What is going on people and welcome to the channel. Everyone wants their tent to last longer. If you don't want your tent to last longer, then I don't know why you're here. But if you are one of those people that loves camping and wants their tent to get them through many camping adventures, then you came to the right place. You need to watch my seven tips to make your tent last longer. So I was recently camping in the desert because it's winter as I made this and it got me thinking about how the desert is a very harsh environment. It not only gives me a sunburn, but it also can really mess up your tent if you're not too careful. That's why I put these seven tips together, so that hopefully your tent can last you through many adventures like mine has for me. I paid $50 for that tent that you see behind me on Amazon a few years back, and I have taken it through the mountains, I've taken it to the beach, and I take it to the desert like you see here. If you're curious about the tent that I use, then I'll put a link in the description uh, to my page on my website where you can see a more in-depth review that I did of it. I want to apologize ahead of time because when I uploaded the video to Google Photos, it kind of killed my video quality for some reason. It's the first time it's done that. But the information is good and it's there, so I hope you can learn something that you didn't know before and make your tent last you for many more camping adventures still to come. The first and the best thing that you can do to make your tent longer is to not use it at all. Yeah, that's right. Every time you use your tent, you're wearing down its life. Now, I really strongly recommend that you don't follow that advice. Use your tent as much as possible. Have as much fun camping as possible. Don't worry about your tent's life in the case of usage. But yes, less usage means your tent will probably last longer. Now that we've got that out of the way, uh, the next best thing that you can do to prolong your tent's life is to protect it from the elements. So if you can see behind me, I actually have a canopy. I don't know if you can see it. I have a canopy over my tent right now. Uh, I'm camping in the desert. And one of the elements that is really damaging to your tent is the UV rays. So the sun's UV rays, uh, over time, prolonged exposure to those can damage the tent's fabrics and therefore wear down your, the life of your tent. So it's important to protect your tent from the elements. And it's not just uh, from the sun, not just from UV rays, but also from things like excessive uh, moisture. So if it rains, then you need to make sure that before you store your tent away, that you find a way to completely dry it out before you store it because moisture, trap moisture, can really also damage your tent. It'll make it smell bad and it'll just uh, degrade the fabrics even more. Uh, one of the best things you can do is during the day when you're not actually using your tent, you could disassemble it and put it away if you really want your tent to last a lot longer. Uh, that is very inconvenient, and I doubt many of you are going to do that. <laughs> I don't even do it. Um, but if you're really concerned about uh, prolonging your tent's life, then that's something that you could do. All right, and number three, one of the other best things that you can do to protect your tent is to put a tarp under it. The bottom of your tent can get damaged from the ground, whatever's on the ground that you put it over. You know, if you put it on a really sharp rock, you put on some really sharp sticks, I don't know, whatever is down there. In order to protect the bottom of your tent, you could help it by putting a tarp down before you put your tent down. Uh, so therefore, the bottom of your tent is more protected. All right, number four to prolong your tent's life is to be gentle on the zippers. So this tent behind me, uh, it's one of the zippers is actually going out on me right now. I think part of that is because of my fault. Uh, I'm not exactly gentle with the zippers when I should be. So I'd recommend that you be gentle with your zippers if you want your tent to last longer. Uh, because if it doesn't zip up, then it's kind of uh, useless, right? So maybe follow the zipper really slowly. Uh, do not just uh, try to unzip all of it at once like I do. Uh, because I could end up uh, damaging the zippers. Alright, number five. Do not wear shoes inside of your tent. Uh, your shoes, uh, they're rough surface, they could have rocks stuck on the bottom of them and walking around on the bottom of your tent, it could damage and leave holes in the bottom of your tent. So not only does that damage your tent, but if it does rain and it goes under you, uh, that rain can, that water can then seep up under those holes and then uh, get your tent wet and you think that it might be leaking from the top when it's actually just from the bottom. Keep your shoes outside of the tent, try not to bring them in. Uh, if you do bring, have to bring them in, uh, put them on something and definitely don't wear them inside the tent. If you're finding these tips about keeping your tent's life lasting longer, then please help me out, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And all right, let's get back to more tips. All right, number six is to actually keep your tent clean. So every once in a while, if your tent gets really dirty, you should actually do a regular cleaning of that. Uh, before you leave every camping trip, 
I suggest that you just do like a little bit of dusting inside the tent if you can. Uh, alternatively, you can turn it inside out and shake everything out. Uh, but really the most damaging part of like if it being dirty is if it's like uh, some kind of wet, uh, like maybe mud or something like that. Uh, because that moisture, like I said before, if you store it with that moisture, it could damage the tent. So that's really the big thing about uh, keeping it clean. But the same thing goes, uh, if you do clean it, uh, then you have to make sure that it dries out completely. That's a really big thing with prolonging tent's life. You have to make sure it is dry before you store it. And number seven, uh, again, when it comes to storage, make sure that when you, st if you're going to be storing your tent for a long term, you don't want it to be really tightly compact. All right, you want it to actually breathe a little bit. So try not to store it in the bag that it comes in because those are very compact and especially if it's going to be in there for a long time, maybe over the winter season or something like that, uh, try to store it in something that's going to let it breathe a little bit more and it doesn't have to be so uh, rolled up so tightly. All right, so if you followed all those tips and your tent, you still think your tent needs to be replaced? All right, if you followed all those tips, you might still be wondering, is it time to replace the tent that you have right now? I'd say that if the tent is no longer doing its job of protecting you from the elements, if it's no longer able to uh, perform that duty, then yes, it might be time for you to get a new tent. So those are my seven tips, guys. I hope they helped you out. If you have any more tips to add to make your tent last longer, please add them to the comments below so I can know and other people can know as well. And I just want to say before I go, I really love the desert. The desert is so beautiful. And if you don't go desert camping, you need to do it because these stars are amazing. And stay tuned for my short little pitch at the end that tries to get you to like and subscribe. Hitting that like button really helps me out. And it only takes a second of your time. I'm here trying to help you out. So I would really appreciate it if you like this video. At the same time, go to the right a little bit and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit that little bell that turns on notifications. For every time that I upload a new video, I want it to go straight to your inbox so that you can get the best information on camping, hiking, and just general outdoors. Thank you very much for watching.